Hey everybody, welcome. Let's talk about tools. Everybody loves tools. Being an artist and engineer require that I pick the right digital tools to create assets. In my pipeline, I occasionally have the need to capture real world objects and bring them into the digital realm. This might include tools like photogrammetry, LIDAR, and even 3D scanners. But why would you need a tool like a 3D scanner? Let's explore one example, the metaverse. What is the metaverse? The metaverse is an infinite virtual world which incorporates virtual reality, augmented reality, and 3D avatar. It promises a hyper-real alternative world for you to coexist in. So how will you be represented in this new universe? One option might be to create a digital copy of yourself, a replica, an avatar. This avatar will be a reflection of who you are while you work and play in the metaverse environment. Today we're gonna to unbox a brand new tool. We're gonna to use Shining 3D's new 3D scanner, the Einstar, a consumer level 3D scanner that has the capability of digitally capturing just about anything, including heads and bodies. It's so versatile by simply adjusting the scanning resolution, you can use it to acquire entire rooms, cars, props, you name it. Let's first open the box and take a look at what's included. Everything was nicely packaged from Shining. I uh, opened it and immediately found inside carrying case. And inside the carrying case, we have uh, one calibration board, a carrying strap for the case, and some uh, registration dots, um, a cleaning cloth, and then the scanner itself. My first impression of the scanner is that it's a really compact size. The remaining items are the power adapter and the cables to connect to the USB. The scanner has several sensors on board that will allow you to scan dark objects and things like hair. Next thing we're gonna do is connect all of the cables for the power into the USB, and then we'll be able to test the scanner out. After you've installed the software, the first thing you want to do is calibrate the unit before you do your first scan. This is very easy and intuitive and the software guides you through each step. Now that the Einstar is set up, let's put the technology into practical use. My wonderful niece Liza has volunteered to be my model. I'm going to be scanning her head and her body to build a digital double that we can then use inside Unreal Engine and MetaHuman programs which are created by Epic Games. Next we set up the parameters for the actual project and then we're ready to start scanning. We're going to start with Liza's head first. Keep your eye on the monitor as you're scanning so that you can see when you've got enough data. You know that you've got enough data when the actual model becomes green. I'm happy with this scan, so we'll move on to Liza's body. This body scan is strictly for reference only. I won't be using it inside Unreal Engine. This scanner is so good I never lost tracking during the entire body scan. I brought both the scans into ZBrush. I will use ZBrush to clean up the scans and to prepare them for Unreal Engine. Uh, basically what I'm doing here is separating the hair from the face and cleaning up the hair and making the top of the head smooth. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison. Liza's head model is then imported into Unreal Engine 5. Then we start the MetaHuman plugin called MetaHuman Identity. The plugin then identifies key features like the eyes, the lips, and the sides of the cheeks. It's important that you make sure that the guides line up properly with the topology of the model. The identity solve will then go through and shrink wrap a metahuman head around Liza's head to make sure that the topology matches. The MetaHuman software is still in beta, so it gives us limited options for body types, so we're just going to pick one of the six. 
Once we've saved Liza's head, then we open up the web application called MetaHuman Creator, where we can start making modifications to the face. Even though Meta Creator is still in beta, there are a lot of options for you to customize your model. And in this case, we're not creating someone from scratch, but we're actually creating someone who exists. So I'm being very specific with the choices that I make. Even though there are limited choices in certain categories, I am trying to do my best to match uh, Liza's personality. Liza has naturally long straight hair, but it is kind of fun to try different hairstyles on her. Again, because this is beta software, there are very limited choices in some categories, including clothing. There's not many choices here, but this is closest to Liza's personality. As a final touch, I'm adding just a little bit of foundation and some eye makeup. These models are so detailed that you can actually see pore texture. Now we start exploring the motions, which really bring it to life. Here I'm testing out the different emotional facial poses. To test the final model, I can add different types of motion capture to Liza's face and to her body. Once this model is brought back into Unreal Engine 5, you can then puppeteer it by either using a motion capture suit and you can also use an iPhone to do facial motion capture. The final step in this process is now to export Liza out and bring her back into Unreal Engine where we can bring her to life in the metaverse. <coughs> the Einstar is a great addition to Shining 3D's full line of 3D scanners. It's a full featured and versatile scanner based on 18 years of research and development in the field of high precision 3D digital products. The software XSTAR is equally impressive, capable of handling large sets of point clouds. There's so many use cases for the Einstar and the metaverse, but you know what? I'm going to leave that for you to discover. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. To test the final model, I can have different types of motion <laughs> capture to Liza's face and to her body. Oh, <laughs>